Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel that are simple, informative, and achievable no matter what level of makeup you're at, like this one right here that we are doing today. So I pulled all my inspiration from this picture right here that Nikki Makeup posted, I think a while back. I was scrolling through my Instagram last night. I saw it and I was like, I have to recreate that on my channel for my hooded eye boys and girls. So if you aren't following Nikki Makeup already, please follow her. I'll leave her handle down below. She is such a talented celebrity makeup artist and she does a lot of wearable looks that I find really helpful, especially if you're like me and you don't like love doing total Instagram makeup all the time. She also does a lot of like little stories on her Instagram story that kind of shows exactly what she's doing. So it's really helpful. So I Obviously my look is a little more toned down with like the gloss which isn't obviously wearable for every day. That picture, the model looks a little bit wet so I toned that down a little but overall for the eyes I think I did a pretty good job of recreating it, maybe slightly more orangey. So today we are using the Profusion Infatuation Palette. This is really basically just three main eyeshadows can't get easier than that and this palette performs so well. I'm also really just using two main drugstore makeup brushes so again can't get easier than that. So I will list all of the rest of my makeup down below. This is truly just an eyeshadow tutorial. I want to keep it simple and quick and easy and to the point but if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys, here we are again with the Profusion Infatuation Palette. Like I said before, I want to start using my palettes more that I recommend to you guys. I just picked up a couple of these Profusion Palettes from Target. They are $9.99 there, and they perform so well. You can also get them at TJ Maxx for like $7.99. I see them at TJ Maxx every time I go, and they come with a brush. It's such a good deal. So we are really just going in with three main shades here, Oasis, Darling, and Whimsical, and then we're going to use one to highlight highlight a little bit and then one to kind of deepen the lash line but I don't really use those as main shades so this couldn't be simpler. I obviously have one eye done so you guys can see what it looks like. I prefer to do my makeup that way so you guys can kind of see what we're going at and then I don't have to flip flop back and forth. Let me know if that's okay with you guys. Obviously I've already primed my lid with just my concealer and then I set it with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Use whatever concealer you have and whatever powder you have to set your eye. I think I have a cat hair or a dog hair on my lip right there. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm trying to use minimal brushes as well. So as always, we are gonna start with our Wet n Wild P23 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take Oasis and I'm gonna start to kind of build out the little crease area. I have hooded eyes so I kind of have to create my own but if you don't have hooded eyes, go ahead and just throw this into your crease area. Now I am applying this super, super light. You can see how far I'm holding back on my brush. That's gonna give me the lightest application. I don't want a really heavy application here. I want this to be very light and just kind of like a wash of color all over the eyes. I've really been into those kind of looks lately. I was very inspired, like I said in the beginning, by the Nikki makeup picture that she posted. Now she has lots of gloss all over the face, but this really kind of follows exactly what she did from what I can see with the picture. And I've just really been enjoying those kind of lighter wash of color looks. And I think this will be stunning for, oh, I just looked at my highlight right there. I use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals and I feel like it looks, it's pulling a little bit dark there. I don't know if you guys could see that on camera. I thought it was eyeshadow for a second, but Anyway, I think this will be beautiful for spring and you could really apply this to any color scheme you'd like to go in with. So I am kind of pulling that down as well. We will pull it down a little further with an e.l.f. brush as well. Now normally I take my shadow in like that to make my eye look a little bit bigger, but we're not doing that with this one. I'm really kind of following right above where my actual crease of my orbital bone or like dip of my orbital bone is just really lightly applying in there and try not to hold your brush flat like this when you're blending into your crease because then you're going to get it on the lid and with this one we're not going in with like a concealer to kind of 
like cut the crease or anything like that. So I don't want to apply too much shadow on the lid, which is why I'm trying to hold my brush out like this. So it really just kind of gets into that area. And you can feel free to build this up as little or as much as you'd like. All right, so I've built that up to a point that I like, and I have this Anastasia Blush Trio. This is in Peachy Love. I got this from TJ Maxx. If you saw my recent haul, this was like $10.99. I've gotten a couple of these there. It's so good. And I'm gonna go in with a little of this shade right here, and then I'm just gonna touch in here. This has some shimmer, so I don't wanna go in there first or too deeply. I just want mostly the matte shade in the middle, and then I'm just gonna touch lightly into that orangey shimmery shade. It kind of helps mold everything together you'll see at the end but I'm gonna also apply this into my crease area because I did it on this side and I have this on my cheeks as well and I love applying a little bit of a blush color into your crease area as well I think it looks so pretty so we're just gonna quickly do the exact same thing we just did and just add a little of the blush so you can see it's turning it just slightly more orangey All right, so now that I have nothing on my brush left, I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit more and into the brow bone highlight. All right, and now with this e.l.f. smudger brush, this is such a good brush. I think I have three of these now. These are from Target, three bucks, and this is so good. I'm gonna dip back into Oasis in the Pro Fusion palette, and I'm just gonna apply that under the eye. And then I also just kind of connect it to the outer corner right here. All right, so now I'm going to dip into that shade Darling in the Pro Fusion palette. And again, on that e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm going to just start to deepen the outer corner a little bit here. I'm kind of going in a slanted shape as I go up. So it's not a V because I'm not really bringing it up into the crease. I'm just kind of bringing it from my lower lash line to the outer corner. So it's like a true angle. And then I just kind of feather it in a little bit. I know this looks sloppy, but don't worry, we'll blend it. And then I'm also gonna quickly just run that under the eye. And then again, with that Wet n Wild brush, now I'm just gonna start to blend that inwards and when I want to blend inwards I don't use windshield wiper motions I use circular motions and I pull it inwards like this and then I also just kind of like to look straight forward every once in a while to make sure they look even which they are I'm gonna take that elf brush one more time and dip into oasis which is the lighter of the two orangish brown shades and I'm gonna Take that and just feather this in a little bit further. All right, cool. So now we're gonna blend that again, don't worry. Now I'm just gonna take my finger, I'm gonna take the finger on the same side that I'm going on my eye with. It just makes an easier application. I don't know what this hair is, but I can't see it, but it is irritating me. I'm gonna take my finger, like I was saying, into whimsical and I'm just gonna start to apply that onto the eye where I haven't applied any color yet. I'll never understand how like beauty gurus who have like the longest nails do this. Like that takes talent because I can barely do it with my little stubs. I have no nails and I have a hard time with this, but I really think applying a shimmer when you're not cutting the crease with your finger because your fingers have natural oils on them and they're mixing with the oils on your lid it just looks really really pretty you could totally go in with a brush as well here and wet it and make it a little more intense but i just want a really blended like i said like wash of color all right cool so I highlighted my face first with that Wet n Wild highlight, which was too dark and peachy for me. So then I took the Chloe and Malika highlight. This is the Chloe palette. And I'm just taking that on a little, little tiny brush. This is from like Face Secrets. I think I've had this for like 10 years. I'm going into the highlight and I'm just going to put that 
kind of in the center of my lid to add an extra pop. And then again, in the Profusion palette, I'm gonna go in with Halo, same brush. This time I am gonna spray my little brush that I'm using from Face Secret. So I'm just gonna use, oops, I'm just gonna use whatever setting spray you have. And I'm gonna dip into that. And then I'm just gonna touch into Zenith, the like yellow shade, just touch really, really quickly into that. And I'm gonna highlight the tear duct and I'm kind of keeping this really close because I don't want to go too heavy in there. We'll highlight in there again with the highlight in the Becca palette, but this is just gonna really kind of go right there. All right, and then like I said, I'm gonna dip back into that highlight shade in the Becca palette. I wiped off the excess from the uh, halo color and zenith, zenith, however you pronounce it, and then, and then I'm just gonna kind of take that right there on both sides. Just like that, because I really, really like an open eye. So the next thing I'm gonna do is deepen this a little further, taking the P23. I'm gonna dip into Darling and the blush color, the middle color, and I just wanna deepen this and bring it in. You know what? I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use the Smith Smith, the e.l.f. brush once again. And this side is pulled in a little bit more, so I'm going to pull this in. All right, cool. So now I'm going to take that darkest brown in the Profusion Tease, and I'm going to take that on just a flat liner brush, if I can find it. I swear this brush always goes missing. There it is. It's, I think this is the MAC 212, if I remember correctly. And I'm just going to push that dark brown shade into the lash line. I don't want it to look like I have liner on. I just want my lash line to look a little thicker. And then I'm also going to place that right under the lower lash line. Really good trick if you have hooded eyes and don't want to take up any extra lid space, but you want to have that look of a darker lash line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a nude liner on this side. This is just the Rimmel Scandalize in nude. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, curl my lashes and apply a couple coats of mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Milani Lash Trifecta. So I'll apply both of these and I will come back on here and you will see the completed look. All right, you guys, mascara is on and this is the completed look. I think this is absolutely stunning and will look beautiful on everyone. So easy to achieve. We really just used two main drugstore brushes and then the two additional brushes just to get the liner and the highlight not totally necessary so this couldn't be easier that profusion palette is so good these perform so well i am so impressed if you guys haven't followed nikki makeup yet please follow her i hope you found this video helpful if you guys have any questions as always please leave them below i try to answer each and every one of you guys otherwise if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me please subscribe i post every wednesday at 6 p.m central time and every sunday at 12 noon central i will leave my instagram handle down below i don't have twitter or anything like that i'm just an instagram girl so i'll leave that down below if you're interested in following me on there otherwise Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye